Hey everybody and welcome back. Thank you for watching and potentially becoming a part of my only family. Get it? Orchids and Lime on YouTube. Uh, it sounds sad, but I have a real family and they are awesome. They are awesome. Okay? My family is awesome. Anyways, so you know like how I have a YouTube channel and you're on it right now? Uh, people ask me a lot of questions about traveling and such as and things and stuff. So being a trainer who travels a lot, I was thinking how can I merge those two things together and potentially create a video where I give you some information that could maybe help save your health and your life. Ooh, ah. Well, Margaret, what do you have for us today? Let me tell you, today we're going to talk about how to enhance your health for the winter weather. Ooh, ah. Anyways, okay, so let's talk about like the winter weather, which is like where everybody gets sick. Like as soon as like snow starts to fall from the sky, um, people start coughing and sneezing and everyone has the flu and some people go get the flu shot. I don't get the flu shot because I had an allergic reaction to it and my face swole up and it was like, I had like half ape face. That could be a superpower. I can't do an ape voice. Anyways, so, okay, let's talk about like basic things that you can use to boost your immunity, you know, and your personality because your personality is awesome. I'm just gonna keep saying awesome today, okay? It's awesome. Anyways, so what should you take to boost the personality? I'm kidding. Um, so what should you take to make the system stronger, okay? Well, Margaret, the first thing we have is zinc. Zinc is very important for your immune system and boosting your immune function. I just like literally read this off the bottle. But zinc is very, very important as far as your immunity is concerned. Ideally, you should mix zinc, like don't mix it, but also take magnesium. I always tell my clients to take zinc and magnesium at night. It helps you sleep, it helps your muscles recover. And is there anything else it says? Oh yeah, it says, favoris la santé des os des muscles et tu dor. Core. Oh wait, I'm reading the French side. It says it supports bone, muscle, and heart health. Um, so magnesium is really good because it helps your muscles recover. Ideally take it at night. And then in terms of dosage, I would suggest to follow whatever the hell the bottle says and then find what works for you. I am not a doctor. I can't be like, okay, Miss uh, Chang, you should take about so 100 milligrams of this vitamin and you will take about 7,000 millijoules of this one. So I don't know, I really don't know, but these are just like things that I'm telling you to take that will help you out. I keep looking at myself in the viewfinder and it's because I'm so beautiful. I'm just like, oh my God, stop it. Just, can you stop being fabulous and awesome? Okay. So magnesium and zinc should be like just a part of your daily sort of vitamin intake, which you should also take a multivitamin and based on if you match the dude in the photo or the dudette in the photo or whatever, I don't know, your personality matches or whichever you think is hotter. Um, no, I take, I take the female one and my boyfriend takes the male one. Just get like, like honestly, get a multivitamin and all your supplements from like a really good health food store please don't buy like the cheaper centrum stuff like i just don't know how credible it is and at the end of the day if you're paying a little bit more money and getting higher quality stuff it's probably gonna be a bit better you know um so multivitamin magnesium i also have this company i like just go to the health food store normally i pick what's on sale or if i find a brand that works really well for me i keep taking that stuff. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say, I don't have it here, is to take vitamin C. Um, I'm actually out of vitamin C, so I've... Well, that was rude. My camera switched off because my memory card ran out of space. It just has too many memories. Oh, of me. 
Oh, so awesome. Anyways, back to my rant. Um, I don't have vitamin C here, but I heavily suggest you guys take vitamin C also. Vitamin C you can kind of take throughout the day, but generally I take vitamin C in the afternoon and then magnesium and zinc at night. Um, if you have trouble sleeping or you travel a lot like me um, and you have like issues with jet lag or whatever and you can't sleep, I would heavily suggest getting melatonin. In Australia, it's actually like you can't buy melatonin without prescription, which is like so weird. And it's like, dude, you can sell me caffeine so I can stay awake, but you can't give me melatonin so I can go back to sleep. What the hell? And they're like, nah, mate, you can't get some melatonin here. So I'm like, okay, bye. Okay, so what do you do if you do get sick or, um, wait, 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 one more thing. I also take a green powder. I'm pretty sure if my mom's watching this, she'll be like, just eat the bloody vegetables I make you every day. Just, it's so hard, you know, like you gotta chew them and swallow them and you're just like, oh, this is so much work. So this is a powder. You take one scoop and you put it in. It's blueberry flavor, so it's pretty good. And every morning, every single morning, when I wake up, I have a protein and green smoothie. So I mix protein powder, uh, this green powder, I add a couple blueberries, coconut water, I add some kale, I blend it up, and then I strain it, and then I drink it, right? So that's really, really good. Um, if you do get sick, like let's say you start getting a cough or whatever, I would definitely start like taking, making sure I'm really taking my zinc, magnesium, and vitamin C because they're really crucial to your health if you get a cough um one of uh, the people that i know in this world because i know people okay okay you are my only fan but i know people um anyways so i got b propolis focus do it Ta -da! anyways so b propolis this is just a spray you spray it kind of at the back of your throat and it really helps to soothe coughs better than anything else that i've ever used and then the other thing that you can take that's so good for your immune function but it tastes so bad is oregano oil um you just kind of are supposed to put a couple drops in your mouth or you can mix it with honey. So what I do is I take a tablespoon of honey, I add a couple of drops to it and then I drink it and then I'm like, Wah. it just does those things to your face where you're like, why is this happening to me right now? Ah. And then... I'm pretty sure there's like a hundred other things you can do. One of the most important things is to make sure you drink a lot of water. And if you work a lot and you get tired a lot, you can also start taking like B-complex. The good thing is B-complex is water soluble. So when you pee and you have too much B-complex in your body, your pee just looks like a liquid highlighter. It's so bright and fluorescent. You're like, whoa, blinding. I don't know, maybe you don't look at your pee when you pee. Is that a weird question? I don't know, let's not talk about this. Um, last but not the least. Wait, last but not the least. Um, it's really important to make sure you get your electrolytes. A really simple, cheap and effective way to do that is to just add a little bit of lemon to your water and drink that through the day. It also like helps to reduce like it doesn't reduce it, but it's it's alkaline, so it helps like re reduce acidity in the stomach. So you know when you're sitting at work and you're like, you know, or whatever, or like you're constipated all the time, that could be because you're more acidic. So it's really important to have like, you can buy probiotics, such as this one. This is the acidophilus and the bifidus. What weird words. No, but that's what that is. And... This is a probiotic and you just take it every single day or whatever. And then the last thing that I would do, oh my God, like, can you stop talking? It's so much information. I'm not even done writing all this down. Ah, I'm just talking really fast, right? Okay. And then you can just go to your local grocery store and just buy Gatorade powder. It is just electrolyte. So if you work out or... Have you guys noticed how I have this lately everywhere all the time? I don't know what's up with that. 
So Gatorade powder is really good because it's like electrolytes and it keeps you kind of going a little bit. You know how they say if your pee is clear? Let's just keep talking about pee today. Let's just do that. Let's talk about your peeing. Da, 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 da. Anyways, no. Um, if your pee is like super clear, that means you are like, um, what's the word? like you're deficient in electrolytes. So it's really good to add something like this. You just add a little bit. I wouldn't add the whole amount because it's like 30 grams of sugar, bro. And you don't need that much sugar, bro. Okay, bro. Yeah. So just add maybe like, I would say one tablespoon per 500 ml of water or so, or just kind of gauge it, but don't add the full three tablespoons. That's ridiculous, dude. Gatorade, what are you doing? You're making and killing athletes with sugar. But don't forget, Gatorade powder is mostly just sugar, so don't get too excited and be like, wee, we can take the sugar all the time, everywhere, all the days. So don't do that. Um, so that's just kind of like a gist. I think of everything you should do. I don't even know, this is so overwhelming. No, um, so that's kind of like a gist of what I think would probably be like the basics of what you should get. But at the end of the day, you should eat healthy, move healthy, try and go to the gym, practice positive thinking, be good human beings, and you should be okay. These things do really help out because I think we're all a little bit lazy when it comes to our health and they can kind of keep you top draw. You know what I mean? So uh, think healthy and think strong always. And I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to like the video and to share it with anybody and become a part of my only family.